Hello my good people. Kwa pili kwa pili kwa zangu nikaenda nikapatana na hawa Waarabu. You can't imagine hawa ni Waarabu wa those wa Saudi Arabia. Wanaweza kuzawadi wa maid wao na this is the first video ever I have ever seen this happening in Saudi Arabia. For the longest time tumekuwa tukisikia tukisikia na tukiona mambo mingi baya mbaya kutokana na Waarabu bosses kutoka Saudi Arabia wamekuwa wakiharas wa, wa maids zao wengi wa wengi wa maids wamekuwa wakikufa maids wamekuwa wakifanyiwa mambo mbaya mbaya na jina la Saudi Arabia ukisema tu unataka kuenda kufanya kazi Saudi Arabia kama maid inakuanga tatizo na inakuanga kwa hata wazazi wenye unaacha familia yako yenye unaacha inakuanga na mawazo hamba ya kuwa Unaweza enda usirudi, unaweza enda urudi ukiwa kiwete, unaweza enda ukue na mambo mingi sana sababu ya vile tumeweza kuwa tukisikia. Lakini hii familia imeweza kuonyesha umaarufu wake wa kuwa wanaweza kuwa wakitreat maids vyenye. Yaani wanaweza kuwa wakitproof long vile huwa tunashukuria Waarabu. But on the other hand yes kwa kila kitu yenye iko na advantage lazima iwe na disadvantage like, like i usually say so for me this one inaweza kuwa hawa waarabu hiyo ni mawazo yangu inaweza kuwa hawa waarabu si wa Saudi Arabia citizens Inaweza kuwa hawa waarabu ni wenye wametoka either countries zingine either wametoka wametoka kwingine wameenda wameseto pale Saudi Arabia kulingana na huyu msichana mwenye amezawadiwa tumeona akikata hata keki huyu msichana ni mganda na anasema kwenye anafanyia kazi kwenye hawa hii familia yenye anafanyia kazi ni tamamu So it is uh, inaonyesha yani kama mimi vyenye mimi naelewa Waarabu wa Saudi Arabia yani citizens Saudi Arabians mimi sijawaiona Mwarabu mwenye anaweza fanya hivi sijawaiona Mwarabu mwenye ataweza hang made wake sijawaiona hii ndio ya kwanza kujionea and i have been in Saudi Arabia for a long time na sijawai ona mambo kama haya. So for me this is a surprise and this inaweza na nime, nimeweza kuiona nikasema hapana ni lazima nilete hapa sababu mimi na kuanga mmoja mwenye huwa anaongelelea sana Waarabu wa Saudi Arabia na mimi ndiye mmoja wa wenye huwa tunaongelelea sana mateso ya watu wenye wa maids yenye wanapitia Saudi Arabia. So this this was very important to bring here to show another side of Saudi Arabian bosses. But kuna vile unaweza chunguza sana ukiweza angalia na uchunguze sana reaction ya huyu boss kulingana na vyenye anafanyia maid wake. Unaweza shtukia si watu wa kutoka Saudi Arabia hasa kama vile uliwaiona uliwe uliona another kiss ya yule kijana mwenye aliuawa na ikaweza kusemekana ati hiyo familia haikukuwa imetoka kwa ime, iliku, walikuwa wamekuja kutoka Oman wakakuja Saudi Arabia so hawakukua Saudi Arabians but walikuwa wa, wa kutoka Oman wakakuja kuseto Saudi Arabia so in this case even in Saudi Arabia it is not only Saudi Arabians who settle there who have houses there there are so many Saudi Sudanese there are so many there are so many other people residents from other countries so inaweza kuwa huwa tunajumulisha sijui ni Waarabu wa Saudi Arabia ni Waarabu wa Saudi Arabia but maybe they are not
from basically from Saudi Arabia. Anyway, this was just a remark kuonyesha at least wameweza kuonyesha umaarufu wao at least wameweza kuosha jina la Saudi Arabia. Hii imeweza kukuja muda tu wakati tuliweza kuona Ruzi kutoka Kenya akiwa amefa, ame, ame trade sana kulingana na vyenye alikuwa akitritiwa na wadosi wake na relationship yake na watoto kwa nyumba yenye alikuwa akifanya kazi kama maid guys we mwenye umeoshi video what is your point of view kulingana na hii reaction ya hawa waarabu boss wa hawa maid na kwa nyumba yenye uli, uliwahi fanya kazi ama kwa nyumba yenye unafanya kazi hiyo familia yenye uko nayo waliwahi kukuzawadi wakati walikuzawadi what was the reaction how they were they reacted na kwa nyumba yenye unafanyanga kazi ama kwa rafiki yako mtu mwenye uliwahi uliwahi sikia akisema aliwahi fanywa hivi tunaongelelea Saudi Arabia sababu kwa sababu Saudi Arabia ndio inakuanga na mambo mingi. So, ikiwa wewe uko pale, uliwahi zawadiwa, uliwahi ona rafiki yako, aliwahi zawadiwa ama aliwahi fanywa kitu kama hii, just leave a comment in the comment section. Na, ikiwa kwa nyumba yenye unafanya kazi, hata salamu haujawahi salimiwa kwa mkono sababu kuna wengi wetu tuliingia kwa nyumba tangu tuende tunamaliza hata contract bila kuguzwa hata mkono na bosi wako hata bosi wako hatakangi hata uguze kijiko yake bosi yako wakati uliingia kwa nyumba alikutengea kijiko na akakwambia usiwahi guza kijiko ingine ama sahani na kikombe ikiwa hata kwa bedroom kuna zile bedroom zenye uliwahi ambiwa usiwahi tumia kuikiwa wewe uko pale na maybe hata mkienda kwa marafiki zake wados wako mkienda na wao Unae, wanaenda wanasalimiana wanahagiana hata salamu hawezi salimiwa even salamu alaikum just leave a comment guys na ikiwa wewe uko pale na wadosi wako ni wale wenye wakutembea sana mnatembeanga mnaenda hata shopping mnaenda malls wanaendanga party party ama wanaendanga hata outing lakini ukienda pale hata wakule huwezi dhubutu kuwakaribia wanakutenga kando just leave a comment guys let us see the reaction of our bosses in Saudi Arabia because i know it is very different it differ from one boss to another ikiwa wewe uko pale na boss wako ni yule wa anakusempathize yani anakuanga na sympathy anakutreat tu vizuri anakuongereshanga tu kama human anakuongereshanga vizuri ikiwa wewe uko pale boss wako ni yule wa ati hata ukifanya kazi kuna ile kazi anakuambia hii usifanye hivi fanya hivi ndio wepesi i know some the the are some of them wenye wako pale ndio tu hata tukiongea ubaya wa Saudi Arabia tuwe tukijua kuna wale wenye wanakuanga wazuri because i know they are but in Saudi Arabia as i know it is like only 2% i just said that oh my god i don't know what is your percentage I don't know what is your percentage but for me it is like only 2% wenye utaweza pata wako na hizi characteristics za kuwa wazuri how is your me, your boss which percent can you give your boss just leave a comment guys in this channel we usually discuss how we are being treated in these houses how our bosses are na hatufanyi hivi sababu tunawashukia but tuna advertise tuna advice wenzetu na tuna ki, tuna create awareness thank you guys for watching continue subscribing like comment and share for that for commenting don't forget guys just leave a comment even if it is high thank you